Hey guys, this is Gadget Mix. So I bought myself a refurbished Galaxy S8 and I'm recording this video using my Note 20 Ultra. And what you're seeing in front of you now is DeX running on my S8. And I'm using the same equipment. I'm using the Apple Mac keyboard, uh, the USB keyboard and a gaming mouse from a company called Sports Bot. It's a pretty good mouse that I use on my desktop. And I'm running it on an HP IPS monitor, full HD resolution. And um, I wanted to show you my experience. Now, I regularly use a DeX on my Note 20 Ultra and with that I get a lot of uh, power with me. I mean, uh, the performance is stellar. Um, but how is the performance on with this uh, Galaxy S8 with this 4 gigs of RAM and 64 GB? Uh, storage which is a little bit slower than the uh, Note 20 Ultra. Now if you're going to do web browsing inside this uh, Samsung internet uh, you are not going to see any difference because you are you won't be probably using that 4 gigs of RAM unless you open tons of apps. I don't. I'm pretty conservative with my tabs and um, I didn't face any problem when using even a resource hogging website in a complex website like the tradingview.com. So you can see um, the charts and everything is loading much faster than you would uh, uh, find on a normal computer. So if you're going to use it for normal web browsing, use the Samsung internet app and uh, make sure you're running the latest version of it. Uh, update the latest version from the Galaxy Store. You can find the latest version in this Galaxy Store app. So make sure all of your apps are updated. Um, so how am I using it? Uh, I'm, I have connected a USB keyboard, a USB mouse, and I'm using a dongle. Let me show you the dongle real quick. So, oh, sorry, I zoomed it. So this is the dongle that I'm using right now. Yeah, it's a little bit by a local company here. So I've connected it. I've connected the HDMI cable, a USB hub, uh, the whole USB hub, uh, and my keyboard and mouse is connected to this, to this USB hub, and a power cable uh, from a Note 20 Ultra. So I'm using that combination. It's working pretty well. So make sure you have updated all of our apps here. And that's how you uh, get your work done. So multitasking experience is pretty good. I would say yes, if make sure you do not open and do not leave a lot of apps opened. And um, if you do that, you'll have a good experience. I'm not saying the best experience because yes, the RAM is a little bit less than what I would uh, one in the smartphone but for casual web browsing experience uh, it's more than enough um, you don't need a lot of ram you don't need 12 gigs of ram to do basic web browsing smoothly so um, the best part is i bought the refurbished um, s8 for about 100 bucks so that and, it, and for 100 bucks i'm getting a lot of features it's plenty fast i mean no application issues it runs all of my apps just fine i'm barely able to find speed difference between my note 20 ultra which is a flagship device and um, s8 i'm not done much gaming but i don't think i will face any problems while gaming as well other than small smaller display i don't i don't find any problems so you can see that even the chart, the complex charts, they are loading just fine. I mean, this is awesome. This is so nice. It's so fast. Let me open some tabs for you guys. So this is a Reuters page. Okay, this is asking me to log in instead. Kind of sucks. Okay, I cannot read directly from here. Let me see if I can open this. I can't just ask. <laughs> Let me open some pages. I'm going to open Engadget. So 
so let's open in gadget this is a very complex gadget website so I've turned the uh, night display on that's why it looks so cool so it's a very complex website and run you know and it opens just fine So you can see that this page is still in memory. Let me open our favorite website, Catch Mix. Uh, not the SG, it is catchitmix.com. So Catch it Mix has been loaded here. looks pretty cool in the dark hey so yeah it's still all the three pages are still in memory if I was on a Windows computer the Chrome would have already kicked out one of these web pages by now but as you can see no problem and all of these three websites are pretty complex maybe not the gadget mix, but yes the end gadget and the trading view this is a very complex website you can see that so much of JavaScript and stuff going on here. It's working just fine. So do you need the power of Ultra? Ask yourself. You, you might save yourself a lot of money. And uh, if, you're, if you want to buy a cheap desktop for yourself, just buy an S8. It will double as a phone as well. So yeah, it's a great phone. Even in 2021, it will probably serve you just fine in the coming year as well. So that's all about it. I'll be making plenty, plenty of more videos about the, my new Galaxy S8, my refurbished Galaxy S8. I'll, I'm in love with it. I, I'm like thinking twice why I spent $1,300 on my Note 20 Ultra. I could have just bought something like S9 or S10 instead of, you know, spending so much money on my Ultra. I love my Ultra, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's hard to justify spending $1,300 on a smartphone these days. Yeah. So yeah, that's all about it. Uh, give this video a like to show appreciation. I don't need anything else from you guys. So this is Dex on S8. Bye bye.